channel. Go back to my channel. I'm keep looking at myself in my little uh mirror right here that I got beside me, and that's out of my camera. But welcome back to my channel. And if y'all are new, go ahead and look at subscribe for me. If you're not convinced already, I'm gonna I'm keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully, by the end of this video, mid video, you know what I'm saying? Something before you click away is going to make you subscribe to this channel. Um, so, anyways, we all know that Coachella uh, is now going on now it went on last weekend and is going to be going on this weekend of course but but the one Coachella that was definitely the one Coachella that you did not want to miss was last year and that was Beyonce headlining oh I'm about to sneeze Excuse me, I've been sneezing all day. So the the one Coachella that y'all did not want to miss, that everybody did not want to miss, whether it was in person, definitely, definitely, definitely in person. That was like a once in a lifetime type of ordeal that was going on. But also online if you were watching the, the live stream and stuff like that. So anywho, last year it was Beachella. It was Beachella. Beyonce Cella, B Cella, however you want to pronounce it, it was that because it was Beyonce. Beyonce stole the show. It was her show. She stole the show. She's gonna steal the show for years, for the years to come. All these other artists now are trying to say uh, Ari Cella, whatever. It is only one, one and only who can change the name from the original name, and that was Beyonce. Of course, that's what we're talking about today. If y'all have not seen Homecoming. That is what I'm going to be discussing with y'all today. I watched it early this morning, not when it had dropped because I was asleep, but I really didn't have a good night's sleep. So I woke up around six, uh, like five-ish, six or something like that, like 5.40. And um, I was on Instagram and then I seen Beyonce had posted it and I was like, I wonder is this the promo, like the thumbnail type thing, or is it actually out? So I go on Netflix. I actually Googled it. I don't know why I just didn't go on Netflix because I already knew it was going to be big up there. But so I Googled it and it was like it dropped like in the middle of the night. Duh, that is so Beyonce of her. So I was like, let me watch this right quick. And I seen that it was two hours. So I was like, oh shoot. Okay, this is a little lengthy. It's, it's okay because it's early in the morning and I'm about to sit and, chill and watch it before I get up because the sun wasn't even up. So I'm watching it, you guys. It is just, of course, from my initial uh, reaction from it being, from it opening up, of course it was Beyonce at Coachella performance. So I'm like, okay, is it just going to be like the performance or is it like kind of like the making of the performance in all? I keep watching, keep watching, of course, like just watching her perform again, because I've watched it one time and that was last year when it was actually going on, but to watch it there again on my screen, I'm just like, wow, like she really captures your attention and everything while she's performing, and it's like hard to even look away for a second, even to make sure that your camera is on your phone correctly to take a picture of her, like you don't want to miss anything. And it was like, one point, I was like, yo, like, she was non-stop going hard. The people that were performing with her were non-stop going hard. And it, I think it was at like seven minutes and 42 seconds and I was just like, wow. Beyonce is a beast. Like, she is a beast. Not just amongst women, but amongst humanity, men and women in general. Like, she is a beast to be reckoned with. You hear me? So, I was just like, this woman, this woman is so powerful, like, <clears throat> I don't wanna get too ahead of myself, so I'm gonna break it up into like three parts. The, the beginning of it, of course, grabs your attention because it was her performing, and it's like, what better way to watch, a, you know, a documentary, a movie, a homecoming about the homecoming, which she actually titled it this. Um, Later in the documentary, she said that she always wanted to attend a HBCU because of the culture and uh, amongst the major things, the culture definitely, the dancers, the drum line, the unity that um, a black college and university just has all in all. 
So I was like, dang, that's crazy. And she was just like, Destiny's Child was her school. Like that was that was her homecoming for her. She never got to experience school. So when she actually decided to do Coachella, she was like, she wanted to embody all of that. She said a lot of other things, but I'm gonna let y'all watch that. Uh, I don't want to say this is kind of like a spoiler alert, but I am going to be sharing like some really like good things I feel like about this this movie that she let us in on because Beyonce's life Jay-Z's life the babies and all their whole family and their life and all is like a secret to us we only know what they share with us and everything else honestly is assumptions so I was so happy to see in this documentary that she actually shared more than I could have ever imagined that she was actually going to share like in within this <clears throat> excuse me so the middle of course I mean the, the the beginning was was great it was it was capturing to make you just drawn in to make you be like okay let me get comfortable let me make sure I got snacks drinks everything is in my arms distance because I can't move and so then fast forward to like the middle and uh she's talking all throughout this like kind of like a narrative th type thing but not so because it's the actual coachella performance so it's like you're drawn into that you're drawn into the dancers you're drawn into everybody's costumes her costume the, the crowd because they're also giving so many um like cameos of the crowd and how everything looks at different angles i really enjoyed that a lot on that documentary i don't know if it's a documentary or a movie i know everybody's labeling it as a movie so i'm going to keep try to say a movie um so whilst in the the the, the making of this movie <clears throat> excuse me she's sharing the practices and the rehearsals that her and the other performers had like whether it was the singing whether it was the choreograph it was like everything from every part whether it was just the drum majors the the every instrument they had like their own group within the big group that they practiced within and i was just like i love watching stuff like that how everything is kind of put together kind of like y'all remember how the show did he show making the band it was like that like it showed the grittiness of the beautiful performance before it got to that and it also showed like um this was like towards the middle uh this was like a good middle because once i said like again this is a two hour movie so that is pretty lengthy that is a good amount of time to just be sitting there focused in on this and nothing else uh within this movie also she shares um interaction with the babies like the two twins and of course blue ivy basically she shares like her her uh labor and she mentions some things in there about that i don't want to like spill all the beans just because it is kind of good to like watch something like yeah you know a little bit just about it but you still want to like wait for those breaking points where you're like damn like she actually shared that with us but one thing i was so surprised and it showed like day one of rehearsals like for her privately with her choreographer and choreographer choreographer yeah that's a weird word that's a weird word like star wars star wars is weird to me to say too so y'all don't be picking on me in the comments okay so basically she shared her one-on-one -on -one rehearsals with the people that made the dances and the moves and stuff and not just made them but were teaching her what they wanted like you know what i'm saying what their vision was so and she said y'all when she gave like like when she was in labor like her peak at her weight she was 218 pounds and that is so crazy but at the same time she was pregnant with twins and she held that way very well from what we seen and from what we seen she held it well i'm gonna say that back you know what i'm saying so i was just like dang hats off kudos to her and everybody's gonna be like yeah well it's beyonce of course she can back like bounce back she also mentioned that she was breastfeeding so it's not like she was about to go undergo any kind of like crazy um surgery because with that you have to take medicine and in order to breastfeed your babies that medicine will come through the breast milk so my own assumptions i don't believe she did surgery i believe she went the 
normal route where it's dieting and exercising um but that's just my assumption so she also mentioned well no in the documentary it it shows like day one of rehearsals and you could just tell like her body like even the belly was still kind of there and it was just like wow this is really inspirational and like moving because she worked her ass off so hard like we all know like dag duh this beyonce she not doing this easy but it's like dag like she balanced being a performer being herself an entrepreneur being beyonce uh being a mother of three two in which she has to breastfeed and being a wife and it's like we got people out here and it even made me reevaluate my own view like my own like myself and it's like damn i could go so much harder and have so much less to complain about than like it's like like bro like I can't even put it into words like you have to watch the movie to feel like so inspired and so moved to be to, to want better for yourself and that's what she oh, let me drink this one she was um breaking that down in in it too y'all she was just super moving and like every time it would like kind of flash to like a different part of the movie or, or like a different scene it would give a quote from a woman from a black woman and it was just from a hbcu that attended an hbcu and it told you what year and their name and i was just so moved by all of it and i'm just in uh i don't know it's just so many things that i'm just like jumbling through my head right now i, I believe that the voice that sorry i just spit the voice that was like narrating some parts of it or just giving like um it was a voice in the movie and I believe it was Maya Angelou. I think it was that voice. You know, she got a really distinct voice. So I believe that it was her. I'm not sure, but y'all, I mean, it was just moving. I was so moved. I decided to do my hair like Beyonce, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know. My tongue got blue. I was eating a blue popsicle before. I'm looking like a chap for real. I'm looking like a kid. Y'all, like, I even tried to minimize the baby hairs because Beyonce didn't have no baby hairs, like, in her, on her style. I know her unit was a wig, but still, it looked good. Like, this is my hair right here, but, y'all, I was like, forget that. Sis is about to, I uh, roll up. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let me find some Beyonce right quick because I'm about to have a little, uh, little Beyonce appreciation <laughs> y'all one of my clippings came out oh my god beyonce 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 i gotta calm down sis because my clipping came out okay so y'all let me tell y'all about this uh hair in the bag okay <laughs> This would have never happened to Beyonce. I know y'all gonna be like, what the hell is going on? Sis hair is falling. Sis hair. <laughs> Yo, I don't even know where this track came out from. Okay, y'all, so back here in the back, I braided it in six braids and then sewed the braids up like with needle and thread. And I semi-clipped these clippings onto the braids because my hair is so thick of course duh the clips aren't necessarily clipping down so i'm kind of like tucking the combs in the braids so y'all know i don't be doing no halfway stuff but i said how to do what i had to do and i didn't want to do like a quick weave or anything like that I'm not about to waste these bundles okay so um let me take this last twist out i had only did four of them but y'all, I'm just telling y'all, like, sis is out here losing clipping tracks trying to be like Beyonce. I'm inspired. And I won't say, like, I was ever a diehard, uh, like, I'm about to say Destiny Child, but um, Beyonce fan. But I really, really loved Destiny's Child when I was a kid. Like, me and my cousin and my sister, we all used to be 
Destiny's Child. And like, I feel like every black little girl can relate to that. Like y'all did that at some point. Y'all ain't gonna tell me that y'all did. I was just like, wow, like, even from the point, I'm not about to mess with that clip in right now. Sis is still right here, okay? <laughs> yeah, I was just truly inspired by that. By that, with her being a black woman and a black woman in the industry and in this world in general, and people just have stereotypes and um, reasons of reckoning sometimes of why a black woman should just be in this box. And she uh, basically had went on about that too, like very briefly. And she was like, yeah, like ain't nobody about to be in no box. Long story short, like she's going bigger and better and she has. And it was just really, really, I can't say it enough. It was so inspiring and it was so enjoyable to watch. And it, I tweeted, I was like, wow. I said, thank you, Beyonce, because you made me realize how... I am so ready for North Carolina A&T to have the freaking homecoming again in the fall. Like, I'm so ready. And I would love to go to another HBCU's homecoming. I know some popular ones here in Florida are, of course, FAMU, Bethune-Cookman, Florida A&M. Um, I think I feel like I'm missing one. But uh, as far as HBCU schools, definitely those. I don't think, no, Grambling is not here. That's somewhere else. That's in Louisiana, I think. But uh, y'all, I just love being black. I'm not all black, but I enjoy being black. I enjoy my Mexican side too, cause I can't just dismiss that. That'd be disrespectful to my mama and to my granddaddy and to everybody in my family that's Mexican. So I am just so happy to be both of my races that I am. But I, yo, be I'm so happy to be a black woman. Um, and, and there's no doubt about it. Like, it, I just am so happy to be who I am and what I am and the color I am and what I look like. And I hope y'all are too. I'm not going to drag on. I'm going to just tell y'all that y'all need to go watch it. Not only for the performance, not only for because it's Beyonce, but because it is Beyonce and she has a platform to reach out and to touch so many people. I think y'all will be inspired too. So, y'all don't. Don't be out here losing tracks and shit, though, okay? Like, Beyonce, you inspired me for this natural makeup today. Like, I literally have on some eyebrow makeup that you brush on, like you brush into your eyebrows, almost like a mascara brush. I have on a lip liner and some lipstick just to make it look a look, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't put lipstick on no lip, lip, lip liner. And then I got, like, a little concealer under here that's creasing. So... Beyonce, I'm coming for you, sis. I'm coming for you, girl. I'm coming for you. I'm coming to be right next to you. I ain't trying to take the crown. You know what I'm saying? You Beyonce. I'm trying to be right next to you, though. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you comment down below if you have seen it or if you plan on watching it. Or if you just want to comment anything, some love, I'm here. I will comment some love back to y'all. Um make sure you go shop or at least browse on my new jewelry line i'd have a new body jewelry line you guys and i'm super excited about it i shipped out my first package yes no two days ago and um on monday two days ago and i'm just so happy and thankful and i plan on growing growing within myself growing on my youtube channel growing outside of youtube and just reaching for the stars and beyond and i would love if y'all are on that ride that wave for me and i plan on supporting y'all also until next time i will see y'all later bye guys